Hey Bridge Church fam and extended Bridge Church fam now through the interwebs. Um, hope you're all doing really well. My name is Ife and I have the privilege of sharing some thoughts with you for today's daily devotion. Um, I've been thinking a lot recently about foundations and just really wanting to establish solid foundations in my thoughts, in my routine, in my relationship with God, um, things that are really going to sustain me through the many different seasons that I'm going to journey through in life. Um, there are so many things in this world that are promoted as being solid things upon which we can build our lives. A lot of those things have their part to play and their role in the way that we live, but truthfully the only unchanging, unshakable thing that we can really be rooted and anchored in is the word of God. Um, in Matthew chapter 7 Jesus speaks about the wise man who built his house upon the rock and it talks about how when the storms raged and wind blue, floods rose, this house stood firm because it had been built upon an unshakable foundation. And Jesus uses this as an illustration for us of the word of God and its power in our lives, that when we read God's word daily, when we um, meditate upon it, when we apply it to our lives and allow it to shape the way we live, that it builds an unshakable foundation in our lives. And that is such an incredible gift, um, such a blessing and something that's clearly so essential for us in our growth as children of God. But over the past few weeks especially, I've been really confronted by the fact that that can be really challenging. Um, sometimes we read things in God's word that we don't understand. Sometimes we read things that confuse us or that we don't even really like. Um, and it can be difficult, especially when we see so many different interpretations of the word of God. Sometimes it can deter us and we disengage. But really, my encouragement in today's devotion is not to disengage with God's word. I want to share from a passage in Acts chapter 17 where Paul and Silas have gone to a place called Berea and it talks about how the people that they met in this place were so earnest in their seeking out the word of God. In verse 11 it says they found that the Jews of Berea were of more noble character and much more open-minded than those of Thessalonica. They were hungry to learn and eagerly received the word. Every day they opened the scrolls of scripture to search and examine them, to verify that what Paul taught them was true. Now this group of people, they were Jewish. I'm sure there would have been many things that Paul and Silas were teaching that kind of conflicted with what they believed, maybe with their culture, a lot of things that they didn't understand. I'm sure it would have raised a lot of questions for them. But rather than disengaging and kind of stepping away and being deterred from the word of God, they chose to grapple, to seek it out, to understand more of what was being said. And so my encouragement to us is to be like like the people of Berea. Um, it's a process, you know, we're not going to read God's word at once and understand it fully, but it's a process that we have to commit to because we can't afford to be fleeting in our relationship with God's word. We can't afford to rely on secondhand knowledge. We've got to seek it out and we've got to set that as a priority. Um, in John chapter 16 verse 13, it says that the Holy Spirit unveils the reality of every truth with us. Us. And so when we read God's word and that truth takes root in our hearts, it's the Holy Spirit that brings revelation and brings understanding to that for us. And if we want things that are going to be added to our lives to be anchored in a solid way, then we really need to prioritize the building of that foundation because it's going to help shape the way that we love in our relationships. It's going to help us understand how best to steward our finances. It's going to help us understand how we continue to face another day when we're kind of grappling with anxiety and all of these other things that are so essential for how we live our our lives and so today this week I want to encourage you grapple with the word of God seek it out be determined that you're going to set that foundation and I hope that that will be of some encouragement to you take care